Hi, this is a short video to compare the 120 milliamp 14C stock E flight cells that come with the Blade MSR. Uh, those weigh in at uh, a smidge over 3.6 grams. With the Hyperion Generation 3 CX uh, 160 milliamp cells rated at 25C. And as you can see, those weigh um, just a smidge, well, almost exactly one gram heavier. Okay, I'm now going to connect up the stock 120C battery. And um, we're now going to, I'm now going to do a a duration test for this battery at full throttle um, and measure the amount of thrust produced throughout that uh, that test. So here we go. You can see from a freshly charged battery here we have about 47 grams of thrust peaking at 48 from freshly charged. And there we can see after about a minute we're still producing around 46 to 47 grams of thrust. And after two minutes we're down to about 44 to 45 grams of thrust. And after three minutes we're down to about 43 grams of thrust. Now at the four minute mark we're down under 40 grams. Low battery warning going at uh, 420. And there you can see the ESC cutting in and slowing down the road to head. Okay, I'm now going to connect the um, Hyperion 160 milliamp cell. And same test. As you can see, a good solid 48 grams of thrust there from a fully charged battery. There, at one minute in, we're still pulling it exactly the same, if not um, higher number grams of thrust there. And again, after two minutes, still no loss of thrust. That's now three minutes into the flight, and we're still just dropping below the 48. It's still al almost a flat um, output for the first three minutes of flight. Okay, it's four minutes of flight and we've, uh, we're down to 46 grams. Now that's five minutes at full throttle, still 41 grams of thrust. There's the low battery at four, five minutes and ten. And the wind down. 5 minutes 20 seconds. As you can see, with the uh, high capacity battery mounted here, you need to leave it a little bit further back than you'd insert the full, uh, fully the uh, small uh, 120 milliamp battery to keep the CFG about correct. It's about 7 or 8 millimetres. Um, I think you'll agree the extra gram is a small price to pay for the uh, at least a minute extra flight time at full throttle and the um, flat output curve with no loss of power throughout the uh, throughout the flight.